Hi friends. It's that time of the month again. And it's ink flight time. <laughs> uh, my little cutting knife is downstairs, so we will very carefully use a rotary cutter, which is totally approved. That's the one I use to cut paper, so it's okay. Uh, anyway, ink flight, hooray! I've managed to stay spoiler free, but it's been difficult. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's see what we've got. <gasps> Ooh, another shiny sticker. Oh, it's a little baby octopus. So cute. And then we got a notebook. This is Yusari. A millimeter line. That's nice. I usually do um, seven. This line stuff looks a lot like the um, campus note I have. This is nice. Then we have stuff. It says, Nakabayashi Yusari Notebook for decades. Nakabayashi produced high-end fountain pens and other office tools. Leading on this experience, the Japanese stationery maker introduces a premium notebook built for use with fountain pens and rollerball ink. The Yusari notebook contains quality ruled paper with 8mm spacing so you can write with big, bold strokes. Glide your pen over its thick, eggshell colored paper. Write comfortably on 192 smooth textured pages. You heard it here, you must write comfortably on them. It's an all purpose notebook. Look, there's a lot of words I'm done reading. Okay, now let's get into the inks. Or not. This will become an hour long video of can Maria pull tape off of bubble wrap? Answer yes, thank you. And I will use this for a pen. And we have Andorillium. I have heard nothing about this ink brand. The colors here remind me a bit of what we got from octopus. Was that called octopus fluids? Was that it? Whatever. Okay, look, we're sticking it down. I imagine it's gotta be really tough to keep this thing going for as long as they have. Like at some point, do you just say, sorry folks who've been here this whole time, we're redoing inks, or do you just give up on it? Who knows? This month, we didn't have to travel far to find good fountain pen ink based in Floria. Floria? Mm -hmm. Florida Andorillium Inks produces handcrafted inks using sustainable, environmentally friendly materials. The team is passionate about protecting the oceans and wildlife, and it shows in the ink color names. So we have um, Colossal Squid Dark, Cuttlefish Brown. We already know that's going to be my favorite. Uh, Blue Ringed Octopus. Hmm. Vampire Squid Red, Flapjack Octopus Orange, mm, maybe this will be, not the Cuttlefish, Bunting, oh, Indigo Bunting Blue, and Common Loon Black. Boom. So, as usual, we have Coal Ring cards. I'm actually almost out. I'm about to buy more. What? This is what happens when you get seven new inks a month to swatch. Um, I have, I don't know, I, I want to do it. I have my Hobonichi Weeks that I'm using for ink stuff, so I went to a page in the back and we're going to make ink on it. We're not going to make, look, okay? I have this Tomoe River paper. This is my standard thing. I'm going to have printer paper. I have this endless regalia paper. This is MD cotton. This is Irofool. We're gonna ink things, okay? I feel like I should. No, it's fine. You don't have to do something just because you used to do it, Maria. Sometimes you gotta have tough words with yourself. And get on with it. Okay. 
So we're gonna start with Colossal Squid Dark. Although this seems like a bad idea, like I should start with lighter, but it's too late. Colossal Squid Dark. At first glance, this dark bluish teal looks black, just like the deep twilight of the bathy pelagic zone where the Colossal Squid lives. Is it bathy or batty? Doesn't matter that much. What are we doing? Okay, I have a, a dip nib. Holy good night. Would you stop? Oh my gosh, I don't have my little thingy. Little thingy acquired. Today is like a gift. It has been raining for like, I don't know, forever. Well, it's the 12th, so it's rained since the 2nd. But it feels like forever. The roads have been flooded. But the Sunday's out right now. It won't last. That's not me being a pessimist. It's supposed to rain again tomorrow. Colossal. Squid. Dark. Yeah, I like that. Good job, Maria. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Shnikes, I messed it up already. It's fine. And er L E um. Mm hmm Yeah, that's pretty dark. Wow, are you, are you blue on the outside? We have so many things that we're doing these days on papers. We're gonna try my automatic pen that Amanda made me do. Okay, Amanda, you're not responsible for me. You know what I guess is good about that? paper is that it is the week's paper that is it's it's cream so that's a thing and now I should by all rights write in the notebook that we just got, but I don't feel like it. And I'm sure someone else will have, so that's your homework. Find the person who already did that. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, this does not look teal. When it comes off in the water, it is decidedly purple. Although it looks teal there, so what do I know? Literally nothing. I'm having a very, this has been a very stressful week and I think my stress level is lower now, but my body needs to adjust to that. You know how it goes. It really does feel like so long since I did one of these, but it, I mean, it's been a month. Okay. Next up is Cuttlefish Brown, which is described thusly. This color shifting sepia is inspired by the clouds of ink that cuttlefish deploy to evade predators. For a long time, I thought it was cuttlefish, which is way cuter. Right?
totally didn't run out of space. Shut up. You did. This looks like a very red brown in the water. How's your day going? a medical appointment and I don't appear to be dying at a faster rate than expected because we're all dying every day um, that's a cheery thought is brought to you by the color brown <laughs> I mean, I probably wouldn't be thinking it if we were watching a beautiful sky blue. <laughs> uh, mercy. I'm making sourdough bread. Did I say that already? I don't know if I did. I'm about to go mix the dough. Let me tell you, you know what? This color is brown. This is not a complicated brown. This is like, oh, you need an ink that's brown? Here you go. This one's brown. Yeah. It's doing some funky stuff around the edges that is interesting to me. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to go watch um, the Dormouse's desks watching of these because she does fun stuff usually. Plus I like supporting people here on YouTube, especially uh, art people. Yeah, there's some, actually there's some funkiness to this and some, uh, it doesn't matter, we'll come back to them. Next up we have <laughs> blue, blue ringed octopus, of which is said, this color ink is formulated to mimic the vibrant electric blue of the venomous blue ringed octopus. This is the second ink that we have gotten in an ink flight named blue ringed octopus. We also got one from Van Diemen's. I discovered on the internet many years ago now I was curious about why don't we say octopi and I've learned that even if we ch chose not to say octopuses the correct word would not be octopi because I think because it has it's a Greek root, so it would be octibodes or octopodes. Feel free to correct me if you think I'm wrong about that and back up your claims with science or a Wikipedia article claiming to be science because I like knowing the right thing, but it made sense at the time. But I'm a little bit bummed that it's not octipodes or octopodes. Also, I don't know if it's octipodes, but I like pronouncing it that way, right? Right. Okay, so we got this. This reminds me of a blue that I think I have three different versions of, which obviously means I'm a fan of it.
because it reminds me of KWZ Turquoise, Lamy Turquoise, Sailor Michigan. I gotta see this octopus. Right? Okay. So far, this is a successful swatching. We've got ink on two of three of our fingers. It's a good day. It's a good day. I'm going to put this on this week, I think. Should we do that? I'm going to end up throwing it away. That's okay, though. We'll, have, we'll enjoy it while it's there. No, I'd rather put it somewhere else. Okay, shut up. Next up is Vampire Squid Red. If you want a bright red that would make Dracula envious, inject Vampire Squid Red into your pen. I am going to suggest that you do not inject any ink directly into your pen unless you have a pen made for that. I will not be held responsible, etc. We have Cool, cool. The water is a very pretty kind of grapey color right now. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Earlier today, I discovered that the little bit of paper on the top of my peanut butter jar was actually me metallic. Y'all can guess in the comments how I discovered that. I was putting peanut butter on a slice of um, my homemade sourdough bread. Bread tastes good. It had good oven spring. The crumb is too tight. I suspect I just didn't let it do its thing as much as I should have. And I don't think I deflated it well enough before shaping. And It's my first loaf of sourdough in almost 20 years. So, ultimately, I'm impressed that I had edible bread. I shouldn't be. I mean, that's not true. I'm a good baker. We have... We're going to have to come into this book later with like a pen and write down stuff. Perhaps, obviously, if you can't see it, I have water jugs back there. Then we have over here the next ink, which is Flapjack Octopus Orange. Who here could go for some flapjacks? This adorable, the adorable orange flapjack octopus feeds on the ocean floor like a robot, robot vacuum. This is an orangey orange. I mean, that sounds like a stupid thing to say, but it might actually be a red orange too. Shut up. This color is orange. You can tell from the name. <laughs>
This is like the prettiest little like sunset thing going on right here. Ugh, that made the color of the water just awful because it was like purple and we added orange so it turned brown and like not a good brown whoops one more see this thing came bent irritating And our penultimate <laughs> color, indigo bunting blue. This medium tone blue is named after the night flying member of the cardinal family. So we're changing taxonomy, species, something. This is a pretty one. This reminds me of uh, Tsukio. Oh, but maybe not. Much lighter. Kind of like bashful blueberry. We'll see. We'll see. I like this color. Gee, it's a blue and Maria likes it. Ooh, shocker. discovered that my I need to fix it my garment it has a little tear in it I'm hoping I can do that and moving on to the ultimate the final we have common loon black this black ink is inspired by the jet black white dappled feathers of an adult common loon this has nothing to do with me. There's no grail here. I haven't watched that movie in a while, maybe. Maybe I should. I'm inclined to think these seem a little dry. But it could just be that I can't 
really dip well enough into this with my pen, my uh, glass dip pen. I can't wait to see what Amanda thinks of this black. If this is a black enough black, because she is particular about blacks, a trait I really appreciate. It does seem maybe a little more of a cool black. We could do chromatography. <laughs> I don't know if I will. The sirens are coming for me. <laughs> okay. Dare we? Ugh. I don't want to write in it. Just like right on the last page. Fine. No. No. I'm not going to. I don't have to, and I don't want to, so I'm not going to. We're gonna move on. I just realized that I have a bunch of this ink stuff on top of a dress that I'm working on, which is fantastic. So, let us, oh look, a little drop of water went there. That's really charming. Let us go back through here. So we have Colossal Squid Dark, Cuttlefish Brown, Blue ringed octopus, vampire squid red, flapjack octopus orange, indigo bunting blue, and common loon black. Here they are on the Hobonichi Weeks. This is like the best. Um. The orange looks pretty good on this because it, like, the cream paper really makes it pop. There's some really funky stuff happening with the brown. Obviously this, well, not maybe not obvious to you, this uh, tealy one is greener on here. And then the black warms up slightly. Then we have these, all of these other papers... Everything looks amazing on the MD Cotton. Things look really good on the Irofu. And here it is on that Endless Regalia. There's some interesting sheeny type stuff happening on, on these two. Hopefully that comes through. So if you look at them here... This is having just the hint of a dark red sheen there and like a halo. And this has some green going on. It looks like it will do interesting things in water or bleach because that is like a bright red. The vampire squid red, well, it's really, really heavy. So at the bottom of the L and then over here, has kind of an old gold sheen, so halo. Um, this common loon black looks to be pretty neutral to my eyes, which is remarkable to me. It is coming off as more gray. The only place it really looks black is with the dip pen, which lays down way, the um, metal dip pen, which lays down way more ink than any fountain pen like ever will, unless you have a problem with your pen. So the one comparison I thought I, I will make, well, I'll make a couple. So my first ink flight had blue ringed octopus. These are definitely not the same color. Maybe that under color is a little bit, but not a lot. Um, that vampire red reminds me of Brilliant Rot from 
octopus fluids and they are pretty similar. The Brilliant Rot, Rot is a little more deep. And they had an orange too, right? Yeah. It was called orange. Not the same at all. Um, and then, I'm only doing the ones that come to my mind like off the top of my head. So we're not going through all of them, but we have Sailor California is what came to mind for Colossal Squid Dark. And they're pretty similar. California is more blue. Maybe like the base color of Nebula Space Kitty. And if we want to look at Blue Ringed Octopus against Lamy Turquoise. Against KWZ Turquoise. These are quite, quite, quite similar. This one smells better. <laughs> and Sailor Michigan. And then, I just, freaking, this I said reminded me a little bit of Tsukio. Where would that end up? I have these in color order in theory. Which means that they're just in some random order that my brain made sense of at the time. So here's Tsukio and Indigo Bunting Blue. And they're not dissimilar. So this color here, the darkest part of that. And I thought it was like the Diamine Bashful Blueberry. But it's not at all. This is far more purple. So, here's our ink flight. We got these seven inks from Andorillium. Um, I think my favorites are going to unsurprisingly be the Colossal Squid Dark and the Indigo Bunting Blue, though I suspect this will be dry and give me issues, but we'll see. Um, and we got this really neat notebook. It looks pretty great. I'm, I think, uh, we'll see what I end up doing with it. Something inky perhaps, or... I have a lot of notebooks, so there's every possibility I give it away, but we will see. Um, oh, and this super cute sticker. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Look at it. Look, it would look so good on this notebook. I should get two stickers. One sticker there and one sticker there. Perfect. Um, anyway, so all in all, I am pretty pleased with this ink flight. It's been fun to swatch some inks. I really needed it. I needed... A moment of whoo after the stressful week I've had. So I hope that when you're seeing this, you're having a wonderful day. And if not, I hope it becomes one soon. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.